Hitman 2, the game that is renowned for its world complexity and almost limitless ways you can assassinate your targets, has a little known feature where the players themselves can create contracts that other players can complete. Spoiler! They suck ass. As a Hitman fan, this is your opportunity to, to weave in some fan-made narrative into the game. And the best anyone can come up with is beating an old man to death with a crowbar. Now, I love a good geriatric crowbarring as much as the next guy. But come on, you can do better than that. Take this one for example. It's supposed to be like a spy ring or something, but it's just a bunch of random people. It makes no fucking sense. There's nothing unique about what ties them together, and there's nothing unique about how you kill them. I'm just gonna hit this with the ringy ring. The only fun I had playing this was the fact that these guys were blown away by the sound of a bike bell, but not by a six foot tall clown standing in a park. It's like the guy just picked five random people and thought it was going to be a blast. Well, guess what, asshole? It's not! The guy that made this ice and dice, I expect better of you next time. You can do better than this. This is weak sauce. Do not enter that sauce in the county fair because it is weak. This one, this one's pretty good. It's called Get Off My Lawn. Apparently this guy's such an asshole that the entire neighborhood chipped in to, to get him killed. The reason why I laugh is because this is the only guy in this entire game that I relate to. I've done my best to piss off all of my neighbors. <laughs> this guy spends all day writing these one-liners and throwing them at his neighbors and they don't even appreciate them. To God, you're gonna have to get my shoes surgically extracted from your pasty cleansed butthole, bucko! I feel bad about this one, man. Bye, sweet prince. Don't worry, I'm not just here to berate you though. What, what was that, uh, what was that card guy say? I will never make a criticism if I don't have a resolution. As dog shit as everyone's contracts were, I will show you how to make a proper one. I call this workplace disagreement. Helen's Muffin Kitchen is an evil corporation ran by an evil old woman. I asked for last Saturday off so I could go to my nephew's bris. They said no. There is nothing I love more than a good bris. Agent 47, take my uniform and assassinate all my co-workers as well as Helen herself. She's a bitch and her dentures make her look like a fucking nutcracker. Good luck. Target number one, James Burton. James is a, uh, he's a proud narcissist and a frequent gossiper. He once told our female co-worker Lissy about my micropenis that he saw at the urinal one day. He grabs his beverage. He gra- he grabs his be- Grab the fucking drink, dude. Hard scopes the drink. Hard scopes it. Puts it to his lips. Instantly poisoned. That's our first target down. Target number two, Helen West. The real brains behind the organization, to be honest. Part-time baker and full-time chemist. I suspect she's brewing meth in the basement, but that doesn't matter. What matters is, I bought a nice pair of Birkenstocks for work, and she, sh she said I wasn't, uh, I wasn't able to wear them. They weren't work appropriate. You don't disrespect another man's Birkenstocks. She deserves to die the same way that she creates these horrible cupcakes and muffins that we're forced to pedal away. She will die in the fire. Target number three. Lissy Arlington. She's kind of spiteful and she's also the only other person that knows about my micro penis, so just stab her in the back or something. I just want that covered up. Just don't don't let anybody else know about that. You know, you can even hide the body if you really want to, but most people don't. But you know, I'm a perfectionist, so now you might think I'm gonna attack uh, this guy. He's one of my fellow employees. He's not part of the war machine, all right? You never see him serving up a muffin once. He's fine in my book. Target number four, Herbert West. He's in charge of scheduling and keeps giving me the early shift. How am I supposed to complete Red Dead 2 if I have to bake muffins at 6 a.m.? All right, this one, this one's a spicy meme because check this out. I grabbed this guy's car battery from across the map. All right, just, just choke him out. You don't have to kill him, just choke him. You grab your coworker and you drag him this way. And then you take this, and then it electrocutes him. 
Excellent! Unfortunately, that guy saw, so we're gonna have to go ahead and hard scope him with the wrench. Tell me that's not ingenious. Go ahead, tell me it's not ingenious. Tell me to my face! Target number five, Jed West. I take it back, kill Jed. I really just wanna make sure this micro penis thing doesn't get out, I it, just, just to be sure. I'm gonna hit this with an overflowed sink. What the hell did you just do? No. Okay, I was supposed to drown you, so now I don't know what to do. God, how many times do I have to fucking whack this guy over the head? What about a soda can? Does that work? It did impressively break the soda can. Baseball bat? Nope. Okay. Hey, you sit next to that. I'll be your B. All right, let's get the fuck out. <laughs> let's get out of here. What? It changed incinerate on Helen West to fucking any method. I knocked that bitch over the head and threw her in the oven. All right, so we have consumed poison on this guy, James Burton, right? Threw her in the uh, in the thing. I don't know. kitchen knife. Electrocution accident. Oh, that's gonna leave them scratching their heads. Explosive device. Save and publish. All right, so if you want a uh, if you want a hard, sensual, sexy contract. Look up Captain Sam's Whittleton Creek contract. You try that shit out. And if you're saying to yourself, Sam, this is child's play. Any idiot can do this. Well, check out this one that I put together on stream. If you figure this out, you're guaranteed to be an absolute pussy slayer, ovarian wrangler, and destroyer of incels. Only the best of the best can complete this one. You have to kill the old man, the party goer, the politician, the mailman, and this random guy. All with a falling object accident, and you can't be recorded by the CCTV cameras. Now, if you can figure that out, you're legendary. I'm telling you folks, nerds are one of the most dangerous groups in this country. They use their brains to hurt people.